to part 5 of the top 10 illustrator tools a beginner should master. In our last tutorial, I showed you an intro into the text tool and its different functions. Now we're going to focus on the line tool. The line tool is one of the easiest tools to use. I use it a lot in my web designs whenever I need a quick line, and that's basically all you need it for. So let's start out by just making a quick line. Uh, make sure you have your stroke uh, filled in. I'm just going to use black for this tutorial and you basically just click and drag and you get a simple line pretty simple and another way to do this is if you just click once you can add uh, you can enter its length and you can also set its angle in degrees so let's say you need a 45 degree and there you go it's pretty simple now you can also do this with the pen tool but if you want a straight line across you can just click shift and hold so you can do this with either the pen tool or the line tool but sometimes I just use the line tool to make it easy and again you can change the color of these lines so I'll, I'll select these three and make these lines red and I'll select holding shift down you can select other lines and then we'll make these Let's just make these blue. So it's pretty simple. Alright, let's move on to the next tool. Let's go ahead and clear our artboard. And let's go ahead and get a black stroke again. Alright, the next tool is the arc tool. I really don't use this a lot, but if you need to get a pretty exact curve, it comes in handy. So basically, you click and drag, and you get your arc and you can do it uh, to the right if you move to the other way it moves to the left now there's some settings you can put on this if you click you can see uh, we have length of the x-axis and this is how long it will be on its x-axis so let's make it 100 pixels there's the length of its y-axis which is up and down let's make it <clears throat> let's just keep it even and do 100 pixels and um, we'll go ahead and keep it open because it gives you an option to close it but that'll basically give it a uh, square where it where it closes the two points so we'll go ahead and keep it open and the slope um, this make it, makes it either concave or convex uh, conve co concave it's going to be pointing outwards and convex it's going to be I'm sure everyone knows the the definition of these two so I don't have to go into any detail but uh, it's pretty good to leave it around negative 35. It's pretty pretty decent, and it automatically makes your arc. And uh, another way you can do this is if you click and hold, and keep it hold held down. You can press the up arrow and the down arrow, and you can manipulate how the curve looks. So we'll go ahead and make a simple shape here. and it's pretty simple. I, I don't use this a lot but it's good to know if you want to make uh, really good curves with. So we'll go ahead and uh, clear our artboard. Okay let's go to the next tool. I'm going to uh, pass by the spiral tool because I don't I've never used it for anything. Uh, I'm sure some people use it. I'll, I'll post some links on this post in my blog on some resources to help you learn the spiral tool but uh, my goal for these tutorials is to show you um, the tools that actually matter so I'm going to pass over the spiral tool and move on to the rectangular grid tool alright the rectangular grid tool is pretty pretty simple to use you basically click shift and hold and it creates a grid for you and since I'm holding shift it's gonna turn into a square oh we don't have our stroke selected let's go ahead and uh, put a black stroke so we can see what we're doing okay so the rectangular grid tool is pretty simple to make uh, the shape you want oh let's get rid of this in the background alright now you see the uh, the sections are even squares uh, to manip manipulate this you click and you see your rectangular grid tool options and uh, since the width and the height are the same exact uh, size it's gonna create a square so let's make one uh, 100 and let's make the other one um, 
50. Uh, horizontal dividers, uh, it's your your uh, sections going uh, horizontal. Your uh, vertical dividers are your vertical dividers. And um, it's just the number of how many sections there are horizontally and vertically. Um, use uh, outside rectangle as a frame. It's basically saying uh, whenever you unbreak this shape that it's going to have this frame around it as one solid line. Uh, fill grid. Um, you can use it to, to fill in the grid with whatever color you want. I don't really see a need for this so I'm going to leave it unchecked. So we'll go ahead and OK this and as you can see it made, let's put a black stroke on this, it made our rectangular grid to the settings that we set it as. Um, now you're wondering what the rectangular grid is uh, good for. Uh, it's good for setting up objects that you need to be in a grid and if you're in web design most of your layouts are going to be uh, designed according to the grid model so this is good to set it on a layer and lock it and draw over it so you can keep all your elements in a uh, grid. Uh, you can right click on these shapes and ungroup and it'll ungroup the shape and you can take elements away like say we have a uh, if this were a web page we would have a header here right and then we have a middle area for our content and we can take away these other sections and there that's what you would use the grid for you can use it for any other uh, functions you want it to like if you want to draw something that needs to be uh, needs to be precise in how it's laid out like uh, I'll give you an example uh, we're gonna get to this tool next but I need it for my example say we uh, wanted to draw and something that we needed these circles to line up we would know that they'd be on the four corners of a square and that let me copy one of these if we needed a circle in the middle it would be directly in the middle so that's that's kind of a rough uh, way of how you would use the uh, rectangular grid tool to draw something or create a layout alright let's go ahead and clear our artboard and our next tool is the uh, polar grid tool now I recently found out about how to use this tool and it's it helped me for one of my projects uh, it works just like the other uh, tools you click hold shift down and create your shape now you wonder what this comes in handy for well I had a um, an illustration where I had to put stars around the outside of a circle and I needed to them to be aligned properly so there wasn't you know you put the last star in and there's not enough space for you to put one in so this tool really helps for that and let's say I'll show you an example uh, let's just draw I'll draw a star it's not very pretty but it looks like a star alright uh, this would come in handy in that I can put a star on the end of that line and I'll copy and paste another star put another star here and I'll just attach them to the ends of these lines and by attach I mean just drag it and if you have your uh, snap to uh, point selected it'll help you align them to the uh, the points alright now if I erase my grid delete it you can s I know that these stars are aligned exactly the way I need them to be and that pretty much sums up the line tool one of the easiest set of options in the whole toolbar um, I don't use it a lot like I said I use the line tool and the polar grid tool came in handy a couple times but I mainly just use the line tool you can I mean you, the pen tool I, I draw all my shapes with the pen tool so I don't use it as much but it definitely become familiar with this uh, these set of options and that pretty much sums up the line tool. Our next tutorial will be over the rectangle tool.